this might sound odd, but I actually held ice in my last two pregnancies to actually prepare mentally for labor. Birth is 80% mental and 20% physical, although most people have it mixed up and they say the opposite, but it is really a mental game. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you and teach you how holding ice can actually help you prepare for your contractions. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chanel and I am a doula who helps expecting families go from a place of feeling very overwhelmed, fearful, and even anxious about the birthing process to walking into their birthdays feeling confident, empowered, and in control of their birth experience. If that sounds like something that you want, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can become educated and more prepared with every video that comes out for your birth and postpartum journey. I have used this technique with hundreds of families that I have worked with over the past couple of years, and I have seen a significant difference in the women and the families who have practiced this technique and how they manage their contractions, and for the women who have not practiced this technique consistently and how they manage their contractions. So I promise you, if you take this advice and you practice this every single day going to your labor, you will notice a difference and actually probably surprise yourself that you're managing labor so well. The way that our bodies actually respond in labor is directly related to where our minds are at, and that is something that we can actually practice while we are pregnant. If you're feeling really tense or your contractions are feeling really painful, you probably are filled with a lot of fear, anxiety, and doubt in that moment. If you are feeling like you're managing things well and you're feeling really peaceful and you're feeling really calm, well, there's an even greater chance that you're probably feeling calm and peaceful mentally. So how do we actually prepare ourselves to be on the calm and peaceful side and not rely on survival from the tense and the painful experience that so many people describe. There's this thing called the fear attention pain cycle. And what that means is that when our bodies are filled with fear, our bodies become more tense. And when our bodies become more tense, they tighten up. And when we tighten up and something is trying to fight against that tension, that becomes more painful. So if we are filled with anticipation of fear or we are afraid of the contractions or we are afraid of the pain, physically our bodies are going to respond with the mental tension and fear that is happening, causing us to not be able to actually be in that calm and peaceful place when something is happening that is unfamiliar to our bodies during labor. So what does this have to do with holding ice? Well, holding ice actually mirrors or reflects what will happen to your brain during your contractions because holding ice is not that comfortable. Nobody likes to sit in ice bath, even though we do it. Nobody wants to hold a handful of ice, but we're going to do it. Nobody likes to stand outside in the cold because it's uncomfortable. But the people who are mentally prepared for what is ahead of them, an ice bath, going outside in freezing temperatures, holding ice, they tend to manage it much better than people who are like, oh my God, I can't, I don't want to go to this ice bed. Please, no, don't put me in here. Or I'm outside. It is so freezing. I'm just focusing on all of the terrible things about being outside in this freezing weather. Yes, it does suck. But how I'm thinking about it and my perspective about it completely changes my physical experience about it. And that's exactly what happens in labor. When we hold ice, this is going to tell us what our brain would do if we were to go into labor today. And so the more we can practice being uncomfortable by holding ice, the easier time we will have managing contractions because our brain has already practiced and mastered being in a peaceful place when our bodies are uncomfortable. Listen, we have the most powerful tool and that is our minds. And when we train our minds, it will go to battle for us it will take us and help us overcome these really tough things that happen in our lives. But if we don't train it, it can be the biggest threat to us because if we don't train our brains and we don't get ourselves confident in what it is that we know that we're capable of doing, it can actually tear us completely down and have us feeling completely defeated in whatever it is that we're experiencing. We don't want our minds and our mental states to cost us a beautiful experience. 
for what is supposed to be one of the most beautiful moments in our lives. So we have to do the work now to become mentally prepared for our big days so that we can have a positive and beautiful and manageable birth experience because that's what all of us want. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to practice a four step process in holding ice and how that's going to prepare our minds. And what I want you to do is I want you to practice this every single day from the time that you're watching this video until you go into labor to master it so that you can utilize the same technique when your contractions are coming and take yourself to the same mental place when you are in labor. Now you do not need to hold ice while you are in labor unless that's what you want, but we are going to practice the same mindfulness techniques that we use during this exercise as we will in labor. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your refrigerator or your freezer and get a cup of ice. Now you make sure that you fill this up as high as you can because I want you to try to put as much ice in your hand as you can. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to our sink or wherever you may find yourself leaning over or hanging out or being when you are in labor. Now, once you get your ice and you're at your sink, you're going to fill your hand up with as much ice as you can. And the goal here is that you're going to grip the ice with one hand and you're gonna take your other hand and cover it up to keep that ice nice and secure in there. Now, this is going to be uncomfortable, but I promise it will be worth it. So when we do this, we're going to be practicing where our minds go. I want you to think about a place that is positive for you or a thing that makes you feel good, but the goal is to try to stay there for the duration of the contraction or the amount of time that you're holding the ice. So we're gonna fill up our hands with the ice as much as you can, grip it as tight as you can, cover your other hand here, and we're gonna practice our breathing techniques. We're gonna just move our body in the way that we need to move. And we're gonna do this for 60 seconds, practicing keeping ourselves in the peaceful place we need to be mentally and breathing through this. And I'm gonna set a timer. And we're gonna do this for 60 seconds so that you can practice doing this for the duration of the contraction. Ready? Get set, go. and then you can drink the ice. However that felt for you is what would be happening if you went into labor today. So I want you to think about that and practice that every single day leading up to your labor so that you can be prepared for a positive and peaceful and manageable birth experience and keep your mind in the right place. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you want me to teach you more strategies on how you can prepare to have a positive and manageable birth experience, I walk through this and so many other exercises to keep you mentally, spiritually, and physically prepared for birth. Hit that work your birth description below and let's hop on a Zoom call and talk. I want to know where you're at and how I can support you in your labor process. So again, if you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you on the next video.